Hi, Zechi here. Hope you're all doing well. I'm sure you must have heard about the gyroid info that's in the slicer with a 3 at the moment. I wanted to test the this info so I uh, changed my plugin to be able to do slicer files and I'm going to show you the process that I went through. So I'm using the latest Slicer Prusa edition. There's a beta out right now. So the first thing that I do is change my my uh, bed size and save that. So I'm using a one millimeter nozzle at the moment. If I go to my extruder here, you can see I've put the one millimeter nozzle. I just drilled out one of the point fours. On the print setting, what I've got is under the info, I choose my gyroid type info and I change my full angle there to 45 degrees. The other important thing is the perimeters and use one top layer and one bottom layer, otherwise it makes extra info. Under the output options, you put in the runner bat file that will do the post-processing. To use this now, what you do is you first import your, your model. So I made this uh, long, long board skateboard type thing. Okay, let's just rotate it so it's lying flat. Rotate it 90 degrees. And then you can do the, the quick rotate over there and auto arrange. Now to use this um, slicer you need to rotate the model at, at minus 35 degrees so that simulates the tilted bed. Okay. Next thing, select your options. Um, so I've got my tilted bed, printing PLA and I'm using my one millimeter nozzle with my gyroid info. If I do a slice now, it will do the slicing. And once that's done, when we click on export G code, that's when it runs the external bat file. So I choose where I'm going to save my file to, overwrite the file. It does the internal generation of the G code and then it calls the, the plugin that I that I modified. So this is um, William Steele's plugin that I modified. So if we have a look at the 3D view, you can see it now has three parameters and it's got that gyroid info, which I think looks pretty cool. If we now take that same G-code and we open it in Repetier, we can see what the, the bad file the plugin to the code. You can see the gyroids over there, but when you rotate the model, it's now standing up straight. So that's the, as the belt moves up, that's how it would move. That's what it looks like. Okay, so in the front, it has to be flat against the front. So I've tried this and it looks cool, but um, my infill is a bit too too thick and with a one millimeter nozzle it often catches and I'm um, skipping layers as you can see over there. And I've tried it a few times, smaller, bigger and so on. So what I'm going to do next time is to combine every second info. So that means it's only going to print every second info layer and that will reduce the density of the the info. Thanks for watching and thanks for all the support. Hope you have a great day.